Hello YouTube, Coda Smith here. This is a video on my plugin Fat Loots. It's going to show some of the most basic features. It is also going to cover how to create a Fat Loot, how to set it up in different ways, including collections, um, adding items, of course. Uh, the new feature where the chest can break and later respawn after the re reset time. And of course, setting the reset time, um, auto loot, global versus individual looting, um, money, looting money and experience. It's going to cover quite a bit, so let's get right into it. First of all, to make a fat loot, the command is slash loot make and then the name of your fat loot. We're just going to call it test. A fat loot is pretty much your loot tables, all the items that the chest can provide will be put into this fat loot and then this fat loot can be linked to numerous chests around the map. So we have that made and then we're going to link it to this chest slash loot link test. So now it's linked. So we can do slash loot info and the target chest chest and we can see here are the loot tables right now they're empty um, break and respawn is set to false auto loot is set to false reset time is one day zero experience zero money first we're gonna set the reset time to zero because we're gonna be looting this over and over again we don't want to wait or have to reset it so slash loot time zero days zero hours zero minutes zero seconds now you can include the name of the fat loot in most of these commands, but it's much easier to just target a linked chest. So that set that to zero. Let's look at slash loot info again. Reset time is all zero. Let's add experience and money to show how that works. Slash loot money we will set to We'll set it to a range from 1 to 10. And when we look at that, you can see down here, you looted 9 gold pieces from the chest. Or whatever, it will use your own currency name. Now, slash loot experience, exp. We'll, uh, we'll set that to, you can set that as a range too. So we'll do like 5 to 20. So now when I loot it, you looted 6 GP and you gained 8 experience from looting the chest. So we're going to set both of those back to 0 because we don't want to have those messages anymore that will just cause more confusion. So both of them going to set to 0. If you don't want it to have a range, like for instance 0, you can just have, or 10, you can just have that number. You don't have to put a range. Okay, so if we look at slash loot info, 0, 0. Um, reset time. Okay, so let's start creating some loot. Um, as you see, I have some weapons in my inventory here. We want to give the player one of these weapons, either an iron sword, a diamond sword, or a bow and arrows. Now you can do this with collections. So let's first add a new collection. We'll call this weapon. Okay, so slash loot, add C-O-L-L -L for collection, and then the name of the collection, which will be weapon and we're adding this to the target chest. Or we can uh, specify which fat loot with the parameter P, the IDP. So what we could also do is say how many items we want to be given from this collection. We want one item to be given. By default, that is how many are given, so we don't have to include that. Also, we want that um, we want this uh, the you want a weapon to show up 100% of the time. So we could add that, but that's also 
100% by default. So really all we need is that. We'll say it was added, so slash loot info. See we have a weapon collection. Number of loots, one. Probability, 100%. Click on that and we can see it's empty. So let's add s these two swords. Um, let's add iron sword, let's say 30% of the time. Or rather, let's do let's do fifty. So, slash loot add hand. We want it to show up fifty percent of the time. To collection weapon. Now these, anything that starts with an ID, like which collection you're putting it in, the percentage, um, the amount. Uh, where is it? The amount. Those can go in any order you want. So if we wanted to, we can we can have command like this. It'll still work the same. So that's added at 50%. Now let's add a diamond sword at um, 20% to the same collection. And now we want the bow and arrow. Um, if you don't get the swords, then you'll get the bow and the arrow. So we'll actually make another collection here. Slash loot add collection. This one we will call bow. And we will add that to collection weapon at 30%. Now, these no longer... Percent has to go first. These no longer have to add up to 100%. If they don't, it will just scale them accordingly. For instance, if we have four swords that are all at 100%, the total would obviously be 400%, but it will still work. Since they're all at 100%, it will, dis it will be an equal chance that you'll get each of them. So, okay, we made that collection. Now, let's look in here we got a iron sword. Well, actually, let's loot info. Show you what's going on here. So, we're going to get one of the items inside this collection. Either a diamond sword, 20% probability, a bow at 30% probability, or an iron sword at 50% probability. Now, the bow shows number of loots will be one that is incorrect. We want to we want to add the bow and the arrow to this collection and you get both of them. So we actually have to remove that cuz that was incorrect. So slash loot remove actually for convenience, you can usually go back up. This is the exact command. Just switch add if you made a mistake. Change that to remove. And that collection is gone. And now we can re-add it with the number. We want every single loot in there. We don't want a specific number. So we want to do zero. And then it will roll for each loot individually, like normal loot is that isn't inside a collection. By the way, I want to point out the amount of loot that is given from a collection can also be a range. So you could have 0 to 10. And if there's only two items in the collection, it will just keep rolling between them. So if you have two swords, uh, iron and diamond, and you get five swords total, then you might get three iron and two diamond, something like that. So anyways, we want that at 0. And now we want to loot add hand to collection bow and we want that at a hundred percent if the person rolls for that collection they should get that item a hundred percent of the time um, which hundred percent is the default so and we also want to add arrows um, I've been doing slash loot add hand but let me show you what else you can do here slash loot add arrow, and
and then number let's actually just mix it up a little bit let's say anywhere from 1 to 64 arrows and we want to add that to collection bow so now if we do slash loot info weapon collection okay there's a bow diamond sword orange sword okay collection bow if we look inside it says each loot is rolled for so um, 100 percent of the ch time you'll get a bow and 100 percent of the time you'll get one to 64 arrows now we can actually loot this now and let's see what we get at that time there was an iron sword time it's an iron sword again iron sword again and, uh, most of the time it's iron sword as you can see because that had the highest probability 50 percent rather than 20 or 30. this time we got a bow and one arrow we'll keep going iron sword should have probably made these uh, percentages a little closer to each other, but there we got a bow and nine arrows. So let's see. If we, oh, yeah, there's a diamond sword right there that we can pass, and then there's a bow with 46 arrows. So you can see that it's working. Most of the time, it gives an iron sword, which makes sense because that has the highest probability. So. Now, if we go to slash loot info, what are some of the other things we have here? We have break and respawn is false. We can change that to true. And what that will do is make it when, once the items are looted, the chest will break. And then when it's reset, it will respawn. Um, we'll have to change the reset time because if it breaks and then it's set to reset in zero seconds, then it won't actually break. So let's set that to 10 seconds and then turn on break and respawn. And actually, let me just go over. This is a reset type of individual. Basically, everyone who comes by here will get their own weapon versus the first person that finds this chest gets the weapon and then everyone else has to wait the reset time, which could be a day or so um, individual everyone gets their individual loot global um, out of the whole server the first person to find the chest gets the loot and then everyone else has to wait so in order for the chest to break and respawn it will have to be set to global but you'll see that it will automatically do that for you so slash loot time to set it to zero day zero hour zero minutes and ten seconds and we will let me just show you how that works iron sword try to loot again still seven seconds the iron sword's still there if i take it out try to loot again still two seconds the iron sword's gone because um iron sword's gone because i already took it and it hadn't reset yet i'll just throw that back in there get rid of it so now let's do let's show you how the break and respawn works slash loot break we're gonna set to true still targeting the chest so it knows which battle i'm talking about as you can see there it automatically set it to global because it has to be global in order to use this setting and set to automatically break global chests when they are looted and have them respawn so now can loot it and iron swords there try to loot again still there notice it didn't break that is because i didn't take the item out once i take the item out it will break so this time bow and arrow we'll take the bow out we'll take the arrows out and the breaks. and you'll see it will come back there it is so that's how that works we're gonna get rid of some of these items okay now the other setting there is notice this changed because um, this is set to true so 
just a little visualization there of um, without having to hover over it you can see what it's set to. Auto loot is false. What auto loot does is when you go to open the chest you just all the items automatically get added to your inventory and you don't even see the chest open. If your inventory is full then items might will be left in the chest so then you will see it open. Um, but auto loot let's change that to true and you can see what happens. Slash loot auto loot we want to set to true. So now I right click it you'll see on my hot bar there the item will be added and then the chest will break because it's still set to break. And there it is, the diamond sword. And it will show back up in within 10 seconds. And there it is. Slash loot info. Look at this. That light is on now to show that it's auto auto loot is true. And that's um believe basically all I wanted to cover in this video. So I hope you learned a little bit on how to create collections, how to set up fat loots, and uh, you can look forward to lots more videos covering the many features that this plugin can do. Um, leave comments on what features you want me to cover next. Um, something that I wasn't quite clear on, I can answer your questions. And as always, you can see there's links to the latest download of Fat Loots in my Twitter feed um, before uh, the bucket staff actually approves them. Uh, you can get them through my Twitter feed. And this is Fat Loots version 3.3. Um, so that you will be able to get through my Twitter feed. So that's all for now, and I'll see you in the next video.